Hey, welcome back. I want to talk about aging today. Now, um, I'm getting older. I mean, I'm in my 50s. And uh, as I'm getting older, I used to joke with the kids that it's like hurdles, age hurdles, you know, and for a while when you're little, jump, 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 jump. And then you have a long space and then you get a hurdle and long space. Then you get a hurdle as you get older. But as you're getting older, my age, the hurdles are starting to come faster again, like when you were little and you're starting to slow down and you're starting to feel your age. You're starting to see your age. And um, it's, a, it's hard, it's hard. I mean, my, my aunt is a nurse, she's an oncology nurse at the Mayo Clinic. And she's, every time I complain about aging, she's like, you could be dead because a lot of my students, or a lot of my, the kids I worked with are dead. So you either have aging or you have dead. You make your choice. And I was like, wow, that's, that's really rough. <laughs> it's really dark, but it's true. I would rather be here getting older and seeing people and seeing things and enjoying life and seeing the world than to be dead. So even how dark that is, that's your choice. You get older or you get dead. So um, as I'm aging, I'm finding my, I did a video on this a little while ago about connection, connecting with people. I've read a lot of stuff about how the happiest people as they get older, they're happy because they have personal connections with people. They have friends, not just acquaintances. They have friends and I find I have a lot of acquaintances. Um, having friends takes time. Having friends takes a lot of time. And so it's, it's easier to have acquaintances because you see them at work or you see them at church or you see them at the grocery store. But to actually have friends, you have to spend time. You have to talk to each other. You have to do things for each other. You have to be there for each other, to support each other. So it's harder. It's much harder. So if you have good friends that you do this with and they do this for you, you're so lucky. You're so blessed because a lot of people, sometimes including myself, don't have those close connections with friends. I have friends, but we're all so busy most of the time that it's like, oh, we should get together for lunch. Oh, when you're, well, that's not going to work for me. Oh, how about, no, it's not going to work for me. Oh, that's not going to work for... And so it takes a long time and a lot of work to keep those connections and to make those connections. Um, after I walk the Camino, I met a lot of people and I have stayed in contact with, uh, I don't know, six or seven of them, I want to say, on a regular basis. And uh, we do WhatsApp because, you know, we're all at international numbers. And even if they're in America, we still do WhatsApp. It's just easier that way. And um, used to chat, you know, text a lot on WhatsApp. And now instead of chatting and texting on WhatsApp, uh, we record. So I'll record a message. And then the next person, then the person I'm recording to will record a message to me. And what I love is I actually can hear their voice. I can hear the tone. I can hear the inflection. I can hear those, those nonverbals that we don't normally have in a conversation where it's just chatting and texting. And um, I think it's been able to keep us closer. I mean, I've, there's one of them lives in Brazil, one lives in Norway, one lives, well, a couple of them live in England and uh, Ireland and uh, Denmark and then Pennsylvania and uh, Washington DC, but she's not even there right now. She's in Tasmania or something. But to keep up with these people, it takes, it takes time. It takes time. It's just the way it is. If you want to have friends and deep personal relationships, it's going to take time. And so taking that time, you have to decide what is your priority. And I think the personal relationships with people is more important than a lot of things that we do thinking they're important. And um, just being busy for busy's sake, it's, it doesn't get you anywhere. It doesn't enrich your life. It doesn't bring joy to your heart. You need to have priorities. And uh, like I go to the gym every day, about four days a week, four days a week with my sister. And she has three little ones, uh, cause we're about 12 years apart. And she had her kids later in life. So she has three little ones, uh, six, four, and two. And uh, the two little ones aren't in school. So we take them to the gym and we drop them off in the uh, childcare for the hour and a half we're there. And we take classes or walk. Right now I'm just walking cause of my foot, but um, they're little and they're adorable. They can also drive me crazy because <laughs> they're not mine. I can't just pick them up and move them. I'm like, ah, I'm going to go home and you're going to have to take a nap. You know, I, uh, they're not my children. And so I'll, you know, they have a mom right there. So I just have to be like, it's okay. 
it's not my job. It's okay. I've been supportive and helpful, but it's not my job. Now, when we're walking and uh, together, usually 45 minutes every day, and then I do something and she does something, and um, we have conversations. And they're deeper conversations than just the surface that you would normally have if you've only seen someone once in a while. And um, even though we're 12 years apart, we're probably she's probably closest to me than any of my sisters because we see each other all the time and we have those relationships. Last week, her six-year-old turned six. And so she had a birthday party and she's like, you want to come? And I'm like, with six-year-olds? <laughs> like, I don't know. But I came home and I thought, well, you know what? He's only going to be six once. So it's kind of silly. So I went over and helped with the food and helped with the, the chaos. It was a planet party, but it helped with the chaos. And, um, it was fun. You know, she always jokes about, she goes, these could be your grandkids. I'm like, my children are not having children right now. So even if these could be my grandkids, they will never be my grandkids. Who knows if I'll have grandkids. Um, my children are just busy right now with their own lives. And I understand, but it's fun. And so I have a more personal relationship with her, even though we're 12 years apart. I mean, I went to college and she went to kindergarten. That's how far apart we are. Um, but we're close because we see each other all the time. And so it's a really, it's a really nice relationship. My mom and dad also live in town right now. They kind of take off all the time, uh, you know, and live in different places for a year, two years, 18 months, but they're back in town right now. And so it's nice to be able to see them. Now I must admit, I'm not spending as much time as I should with them. Cause I'm like, Oh, I've got this to do and that to do. But you know what? They're getting older every single day. They're getting older. So I need to be spending time with them. Cause that's a very important relationship, personal relationship that I can grow and maintain because someday they'll be gone. And I'll wish I had grown and maintained that relationship better than I had and better than I'm doing now. And so I've got to make that priority. Got to make that priority. My parents are priority. My sister's a priority. My husband's a priority. My children are priorities. And when they're around, I need to make sure I'm not distracted. My daughter was visiting and uh, just this last week and I was working on a book. She came in and she closed my computer and I was like, excuse me? She's like, mom, I need you to tell me that I'm more important than your book. And I was like, what? She's like, I need to know I'm more important than your book. She's 23. And I'm like, uh, of course you're more important than my book. She's like, well, you don't act like I'm more important than your book. You act like your book is the most important thing in your life. And I need to know I'm more important than your book. And so I had to close it and tell her she was more important, even though I was like, really? <laughs> but she was totally serious. Uh, then she took off to Kansas City where she's uh, working. And um, she called me on border Missouri, her car broke down. So she had called AAA and they didn't know when they could get the tow truck there. So I had to take off down to Missouri. It was a good four hour drive and pick her up and then drive her all the way to Kansas City. And she's not on this, my side of Kansas City. She's 45 minutes on the other side. So got her to her apartment, got her set up, went shopping cause she didn't have a car. So went shopping, took care of all that. Um, and, uh, I kept thinking, I really want to work on my book. I really want to work on my book. <laughs> but then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to have this opportunity again. When is she going to have such a crappy car that she's going to, it's going to break down. She's going to need me to come get her. You know, she's graduating college. She doesn't have any money. She's starting a brand new job. This is going to be the last time that's probably going to happen. And I almost missed it because I was too busy wanting to work on my book instead of wanting to spend time with people in my life who are very important to me. And I just, I guess this whole video is priorities. What are your priorities? Your priority should be the people in your life, the people you love, your children, your husband, your parents, um, your friends, your brothers and sisters, the people you love because they're the people who matter. And if everything else is more important than the people who matter, you're gonna turn around one day and no one's going to be there. And that'll be really sad. So I'm trying harder to realize that life is short. Life is short. I'm sorry. <laughs> life is short. You need to grab it. You need to have priorities and you need to love the people in your life. And to love them, you need to spend time with them. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed content like this, please like the video and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you so much. Bye.